Where are we? You're in Scotland. You're in Fife. You're in Dunfermline. You're in shit. Without being cheesy about it, it's prophetic in that mm. um, this sort of thing, this the action of this play, is really likely. Why well, am I tied up? He's definitely not American. <laughs> You Dutch! I thought you were Dutch with the name and that. Are you Flemish, maybe? I, I, I said Flemish. You know, I'm surprised that you don't hear it. I mean, they did go up to Sir Freddie's house and burn, burn, rip his car apart. It's not far off that. All you need is someone to sort of uh, unstable, mentally unstable guys who are losing their jobs to decide they've got nothing left and they, this sort of thing could happen. You're supposed to be Japanese. I'm not Japanese. <laughs> are you sure? They're usually Japanese. Yep. Where are you from? Weaven. Weaven? Weaven? Weaven in five? You're kidding me on it. Fucking leave not the road down. He said leaving. Did you, did you say leaving? He said leaving. So, I, I, upon reading it, it was relevant then, that's like, you know, three years ago, in light of what's happened in the past year, it's extraordinarily, it's extraordinary how relevant it is. In some ways it's become more relevant, yeah. I think, because in, in some ways I think the characters have been proven right, because, it, you know, they're, they're saying capitalism is wrong, it's exploiting us, it's, it's messing the world up. And yeah. in fact, in, you know, with the recent banking crisis and everyone's a lot more aware of uh, the, the problems of global capitalism and so on. It's actually, everything that's happened, it's shown that, that, that they had a very, very good point. Um, Anthony Tom, he's a security guard. He's in his early 20s, kind of post-degree. Um, post um, and, yeah, he's typified by that, I think, in terms of he wants, he's got a degree, he thinks he's going to go places. He's aspirational. He's also um, sort of a product of new labour, so he believes in that sense of he can combine socialism and capitalism, or that he can sample from socialism and capitalism. Mm. Um, which is again an opposite. So like the, the other guys think one has a socialist agenda, one has a thrill-seeking agenda. Um, and then Frank, the older guy, has a sort of capitalist agenda. Mm. So yeah, he kind of serves as umpire a lot of the time. Mm. Um, and kind of playing against the, the kind of all the different opinions. But ultimately he just doesn't want people to die. <laughs> uh, guy's a factory worker uh, who ha is uh, sort of into socialism, communism, what have you, uh, and he's kidnapped a dude, uh, him and his mate, uh, and that is it. Gary's a wife and three children or two children, I don't know, I've, I've, I've only skirted through the script and will continue to do that till about the fifth fifth night. And then I'll really start reading it and finding out what's going on. Uh, I don't know, yeah, that's it. Uh, Frank is the uh, victim of a, a heist gone wrong, um, a kidnapping gone wrong. Uh, he's the wrong guy. Um, and he's, uh, I think his job is he's a consultant who's come in to look at this factory and see what is viable and maybe make some changes or suggest some changes. And um, these three other characters grab him and he suddenly finds himself in the middle of all of this um, demented political discourse with uh, three people with slightly different political views. In fact, one of them may not have political views at all, but there is a sense that possibly he's just an old-fashioned psychopath. And yeah, and I think the sympathies of the audience, it'd be interesting to see if they change, whether yeah. their reactions to the play. Yeah, I think it will change the way people react because you're supposed to feel quite sympathetic towards the Frank character who is the capitalist because um, he's just doing a job and he's from Scottish, he's from Leaven and he's, you know, he's unhappy, his family's marriage is broken apart, his son he doesn't see because he lives on a bus in some communist commune, hippie commune and, he, you know, he's just an average guy that works for a company who's saying, I'm just following orders. I mean, we know, we know where we've heard that from, you know. Can you hear that? He's probably got a fractured skull. Oh, I see. It oh. says here, your name's Van der Hoy. Is that right, aye? There's no point asking questions oh. in that state. It's your forte. Is that you? Are you Van der Hoy? Ah, bastard. If he hadn't a fucking hit killed, nearly killed him, he could have been halfway fucking home by now. You're fucking blaming me. Is it totally essential to be asking the I'm fucking, I, I've got to ask him a few things. What things? Just fucking things. He's actually the one 
person in the audience, I, I think they, would, they do feel some sympathy for Frank. And I think in Bruce Morton, we've got an oh, actor yeah. who exudes mm. kind of a, that very classic, miserable, Scottish, like, <laughs> life <laughs> sucks anyway. So, you know what I mean? So it, I, don't, I do think, I think the audience will feel sympathy for me. It's also, I, I think the way we're staging it is you can't help feeling sorry for a guy because you're right, you're a, a couple of yards away from yeah. a guy, you know, a guy who's been kidnapped from his hotel room, he's got a bump on his head, he's tied up, you, he's there in his shirt and maybe, you know, no shoes and socks because he's yeah. in his hotel room and you, just, you see him physically there in front of you and I think many of us at the moment are blaming bankers and... Um, you know, lashing out at, at the managers and what's happened, but actually, actually being confronted with one right with in front person. of you, the physical yeah. Yeah. person. Aye, fuck it. Let's just kill him. Can I know what I mean? And what did you fucking mean? Hey, shut your fucking puss! We wait. Aye. 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 Fair enough. May as well put me through a wee bit of mental torture first. That's written so you're not, you're hoping, the audience is hoping that they talk their way out of it, which is really on, a, on a, what we're hoping is going to happen on a larger scale that, you know, if the President of the United States is a, such a strong speaker that he's going to be able to convince people that there is another way. The top character of Tom is the young naive guy. The young naive guy is going, come on, there's got to be another way. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs>